What's up guys, Ty here with Primo Collectors and welcome back to our channel where we share with you the hottest statue unbox and review. When Infinity Studio unveiled their first statue, Zhao Yun, back in 2015, it was the first highly detailed Three Kingdoms statue available at that time. Fast forward to today, we are going to check out the Zhao Yun 2.0. Alright, let's jump into the unbox now. So this is Infinity Studio Quarter Scale Zhao Yun version 2.0. It's a complete redesign of the previous version and he is finally on horse, joining other generals from the very popular Three Kingdom series. There are two versions of Zhao Yun, the deluxe version and the regular version, and we will talk about that in just a little bit. Now let's quickly go through to the spec. This is 1.4 scale, the length is 45 cm and the width is 85 cm and as for the height is approximately 81 and as for the weight is 30 kg the deluxe version is also limited to 300 piece worldwide and for the regular version is 500 piece worldwide so let's talk about the design and concept of this statue the main concept and design is taken from the battle of Changban Bo in Romance of Three Kingdoms where Zhao Yun braved himself in danger by fighting his way through enemy lines to rescue Ato which is exclusive accessory of the deluxe version. The Zhao Yun version 2 base is similar with other generals which features similar oval shape under base with some better damage and scarf at the black area. At the front, you can see the Zhao Yun nameplate written in Chinese. If you still remember the first version of Zhao Yun, the base doesn't quite align with the other generals that are on horse. This is also the reason why the version 2 is created. The main base is a muddy background with some rock pieces around the area. And if you can see, there are mud splashing out from the area around the hoof. The texture and the paint on the house rock are more towards slimy and smooth. The overall base is not overly complicated if you compare them with the point view that we previously unboxed. Moving up, we can see the gorgeous white horse, unlike the red hair of Guan Yu. The white horse of Zhao Yun has less decoration on it, but you still get those nicely sculpted armor right here on the neck and throughout the entire body. The armor has a nice metallic silver and some gold accent. The scalp of the horse is fantastic. The realistic looking eyes, the expression of the horse, the muscle definition are nicely sculpted and done. The mane and tails has a nice dynamic flowing hair giving it a nice sense of motion. Not only that, they even sculpted the genital part of the horse. Now to the Zhao Yun himself, there are a lot of details on him. We got this nice looking metallic armor on him. If you own the older version of Zhao Yun, you will see some similar elements. His armor are more towards traditional mixed with modern arts. The orange rope on his armor also gives a nice color pop. 
Right here on the shoulder, you can see a nicely sculpted dragon head shoulder pad with nice metallic silver paint. At the back of Zhao Yun, you can see the sheath of the sword and also a piece of his outfit is hovering in the air, kinda give you the sense that Zhao Yun is charging very fast trying to get out of the battleground. The cape of Zhao Yun is made of mixed media with an internal wire that you can reshape and compose in the way how you want it to be. And also, there are some splash, mud and dirt weathering effect on his cape as well. So if you are on the deluxe version, you get this baby Atto. This baby Atto is also the exclusive for the deluxe version. The scalp and skin tone of Atto is great. He looks lively. He is being wrapped by a premium looking cloth with some ancient Chinese pattern on it. If you look closely to Atto, you can see the trails of tears coming out from his eyes. Zhao Yun comes with two weapons on his right hand. He is holding the sword or also known as the Qing Gang sword. The sword has some blood stain on it and they also sculpted the Chinese name of the sword at the holder. On his left hand, he is holding the dragon spear and on the spearhead, he also has some blood stain on it. When I took the weapon out from the box, the weapon was cold to touch and no doubt these are made of die-cast material and clearly Infinity has learned their lesson to improve the durability of the long pole weapon so they are not bent over the period of time. Overall, these weapons are built very well. Zhao Yun also comes with two exchangeable portraits. The first one is the helmeted portrait. I love the great details on the helmet and the metallic silver paint and shading on the helmet is done very well. On his helmet, he got this cool looking flowing hair to give you the sense of motion. The expression on the helmeted portrait also has a more murderous look. The second portrait is an unhelmeted portrait more of a classic look if you own the first version of Zhao Yun. This portrait comes with a more serious and determined expression. I love the way how the hair on this portrait are flowing and give you the sense of motion. So that was Zhao Yun version 2 by Infinity Studio. And finally, all the 5 Tigers general are on pause. I hope there will be more 3 Kingdoms characters released by Infinity. If you enjoyed this video, check out the other relevant content and other unbox in the channel. Subscribe and like to stay updated with our new content and I will see you soon in the next video.